Turkey sentences female politician to prison for calling Erdogan the enemy of women. In Turkey, a female politician has been sentenced to 11 months in prison for calling Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan an enemy of women, according to media reports. Um, Sabahat uh, Tunsel was sentenced for saying Erdogan was a complete misogynist, a remark she made four years ago. Tunsel's attorneys argued that the politician's statement uh, that the quote the enemy was the pres the president was the enemy of women right. and Kurds. Sorry. Um, made during a 2016. Anna, speech. are you back? Oh, was I gone? Yeah, can we start from the beginning? Because I lost you guys for a second. Let's do it oh, from okay. the beginning. Okay. Okay. Wait, before you do that, before you start from the beginning, let me do Murtad. Murtad, yeah, we have our face Atheist Republic's Facebook page. The link is in the description. But anyways, let's continue. Okay, starting over. Turkey sentences female politician to prison for calling Erdogan enemy of women. A female politician in Turkey has been sentenced to 11 months in prison for calling Turkish president Recep Tayyip Erdogan an enemy of women, according to media reports. Uh, Sabahat Tunsel was sentenced for saying that Erdogan was, a, quote, a complete misogynist, a remark she made four years ago. Tunsel's attorneys argued that the politician's statement that, quote, the president was the enemy of women and Kurds made during a 2016 speech is within the freedom of expression, according to Turkish news outlet Duvar English. The court disagreed. Tunsel is just one of thousands of Turkish citizens who have received prison time for insulting the Turkish president. Um, okay, so Turkey is going backwards. Mm -hmm. That's great. Faster than we thought. Anyways, what do you guys think about this? What this um, it's, it's really bad. It's really bad. And I mean, if you can't correctly label Erdogan as an misogynist like and an enemy of Kurds like how it's it's ridiculous and she's a politician she's a politician so think about what the average citizen has to go through in the um the stakes that are against them right um she I mean he's um told Turkish women to have at least three children, has proposed limiting access to the morning after pill and even cesarean sections. Um, as all, many people are familiar, there has been a campaign against the epidemic of femicides that are happening in Turkey right now. So there is um, a misogynistic culture that needs to be come that needs to be called out. It is not being appropriately addressed by the head of state. And, um, Personally, if you are an Islamist, I believe you are by definition a misogynist. Um, and um, he's his his total campaign to Islamize Turkey is just deepening um, year over year. So I think there's two things that that this maybe you're talking about. So regardless of whether what she said is true or not, you know, you provided some evidence of way it, what it may be. So the point is that she should be free to offer her opinion of the leader of Turkey without threat of being imprisoned for almost a year, one month shy of a year. She is a, an elected official in parliament in Turkey, people have elected her to offer to offer their or not elected, whatever. She's in parliament. She's a parliamentarian. She's a politician. She's allowed to have an opinion. People should be allowed to express what they feel without threat of jail, particularly from the leader, because it's not just that they're expressing their opinion, but a lot of it has to do with their opinion on Erdogan himself, which is even more totalitarian and even more dictatorial and draconian. Because it's specifically about him, not necessarily about the policies or, you know, a particular bill or whatever. It's about her opinion of him. So that is really dangerous. And there's so many people in jail 
for doing that. It also encourages people to spy on other people and report mm -hmm. on other people. And those people, again, like a blasphemy law, it's like a blasphemy law. You know, you're not allowed to say anything bad about Erdogan or anything that he wouldn't like. And it can be used in all kinds of ways against people. You know, you don't like somebody or you covet their property or their wife or husband and you say they said something, then they go to jail. You know, there's all kinds of reasons why this is bad, not to mention the freedom of expression and the right to be able to criticize your government and its leaders. Um, Susanna, before you continue, can you read the super chat? Yes. Um, Eric, thank you for the $5 super chat. Um, we appreciate it. He's saying, Armin, you should do something to Erdogan's picture. Think okay. he means like a sexy Erdogan? <laughs> <I don't laughs> or um, desecrating it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah, like I need to buy that. a printer and just do like print hominate Erdogan. Yeah. Like keep going like every People single leader to go after Sikh leaders. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, Sikh leaders, Sikh leaders. Uh, okay, Susanna, go on. Go. You were gonna say. Um. Something. So, well, Murtard skeptic had a question, which was how? What is this? What is she being criminalized under? I have some answers. Um. So, Turkey's penal code criminalizes insulting the president. Their penal code in, in criminalizes, yeah, thank you, Armin, it criminalizes insulting the president with an offender typically facing a prison term of up to four years. The sentence has been increased if the insult is expressed in a public sphere, like in the case of this woman. Um, over 3,800 uh, people in Turkey have received prison sentences in 2019. 3,800 in 2019 for insulting Erdogan, according to Turkish media, which they reported last week at the uh, time that this was published. Um, furthermore, Imagine being that sensitive that you have to make that to a law. Yeah, furthermore, um, so Tansel previously served as a member in Turkish parliament. She was sentenced to 15 years in prison on separate charges in 2019 on charges of belonging to a terrorist organization. However, so here's where it comes in. Turkey's anti-terrorism legislation has been widely utilized by the judicial system to crack down on dissidents following the 2016 failed coup against Erdogan's government. Human rights organizations have warned that this legislation is vague and wrongly used to silence political opponents. So if, you, if you're a dissident, if you dissent, you're, oh shoot, I said the T word. You, if you if you dissent, they're going to call you a Terry. Not just dissidents, journalists. Yes. Tons and tons of journalists, particularly if they're not giving favorable coverage to Erdogan. Mm -hmm. And also, I personally think that just in the word insulting the president is fairly ambiguous. Because anything could be deemed an insult if it's from someone you right. don't like. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, I mean, as far as like under a, a code of law, you know, that's pretty uh, open and overbroad. It's hard to know what could be an insult and what couldn't. It's whatever he decides is insulting in order to throw you into jail. Mm -hmm. You know? So totalitarian. Yeah. We should have put Turkey somewhere on that scale. We should have a scale one. Like, we should make a video one day of putting, like, taking different countries. Actually, there is already studies on that. We could review it one day. Mm -hmm. um, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has What's holding you back? Okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, 
no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Aces Republic. And YouTube was like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore, but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos 